You guys might have seen Joe Dispenza talk about his story of how he got into the mysticism and the science stuff that he's into now after he had a near fatal accident doing a triathlon. And one of the practices that he said was really transformative for him. So he pretended as if anything he thought of would come true. And he made sure to try to control his mind so that any single thought that came in would actually manifest in his life. Now I wanna share in this video some really, really, really interesting exercise that I've recently realized that I think can really help you make the leap faster towards your goals. What's up guys, Alex Hine, author of the book, Master the Day. I've included below this video a free journaling worksheet that'll help you plan out how to design your dream life and how to really get your life together so you know exactly what you need to do to make the next year the best of your life. You can check it out right below this video, the first link. I recently posted this Instagram story where I was eating a mochi and I said, man, who needs a girlfriend when you have mochi like this? What else do you need in life? And I had a female friend text me back and she said, you better be careful. With our words, we cast spells. Now this really got me thinking because if you think about it, the real test of manifestation of your goals of going from wherever you are to wherever you wanna be is really about your beliefs. Because your beliefs are the things that set the upper limits. They put the box, you know, it's the box you decide to put yourself in, which is your beliefs. And if you expand your beliefs and you expand the box, you expand the ceiling of your goals and how fast you can reach them. So it made me wonder, right? This idea of what if every word out of my mouth was casting a voodoo-like spell. She got me thinking, and Joe Dispenza got me thinking. What if every word out of my mouth was casting a spell about my future? Right, what are the things I say daily about love? How am I gonna find a girlfriend during the pandemic? I just moved to a new city, how am I gonna make any friends? I just started a private medical practice, how am I gonna get any patients? I just wanted to start this grand adventure and there's no way to meet anybody or do anything because of this lockdown. And every one of those words is casting a spell that's making my box smaller and smaller and smaller. So the first thing I wanna challenge you with, if you want to reach your goals, certainly if you just wanna reach your goals, but if you wanna reach them faster as well, the first thing is to be really attentive to your language because like my friend Jackie said, your language is casting these spells. So if love is the thing you are struggling with this year, then what are you saying? What are you blaming as the problem for not meeting the right man or the right woman? Is it really due to coronavirus? Is it due to the fact that you can't meet people in person? Is it that there's no good men left? Is it that all the girls you hang out with are vapid and don't have the same goals and they're glued to their phones? Like, what is it? What is the story that you're casting these spells with? In my book, Master of the Day, we talk about narratives the first half of the book because the story dictates the way you act. So what is it in the love quadrant of your life? Now, maybe it's work. You know, maybe you are one of the 10 million plus Americans that lost their jobs over COVID. They're in some weird limbo, right? Now, what is the story you're saying? Oh my God, I had all these plans. I don't have any money. I have a family to support. This is the worst thing that's ever happened to me. This is the worst year ever. Well, you're casting a spell that's making your box this big. Now, what if the story and the spell you're casting was, oh my God, I don't know what I'm going to do. This sucks. This is the worst year ever, but I'm going to find a way to get another job, right? It's just so interesting. All these stories, the spells, the words we're casting just by our thoughts, which mirror our beliefs and our beliefs mirror and they create that exact box. Now, the second thing to consider here is that beliefs are a made up upper limit. You know, just like with Roger Bannister, when he broke the four minute mile, the next year it was like a staggering amount of people broke the four minute mile. So he had broken psychologically the four minute mile. But in the same way, you know, if you hear about how few self-published authors succeed, you know, if I read those statistics on how few books most authors sell, I never would have written any book and I smashed those records with my own self-published books. Now, is it because I'm so special or is it because I just believed, well, they couldn't do it, but I probably can, or I'll figure it out. I'll find a creative solution. I would argue that I'm not special, but it was that belief that led to finding the solution. So now I have these self-published books 
and have done better than 99% of authors, not only self-published, but conventionally published authors. And that's pretty crazy. So to me, it was the belief that created that possibility and solution. We have people now getting heart transplants. Their freaking heart is being cut out and a new one put in. Think about how impossible that was a hundred years ago, right? So it's the possibility that leads to a bigger box, which leads to the bigger possibilities happening. So you have to start with the bigger box, make cracks in that box, push yourself out, make a new box, and then a new reality will ironically form around you. Now, my challenge for you here today is really simple. If you decide to choose to create a bigger box around whatever your goal is, just pick a belief or a word or a sentence that is a little bit more open with the possibilities. Whatever limiting belief you have about dating or your job this year or your worries about your health, open the box a little bit and you'll see what'll happen. If you believe that so far it's been the worst year of my life, but I'm going to find something awesome in terms of a job opportunity, I'm still going to find a way to meet a great person. I'm going to do the best I can and I'll find a way to get through every day. Number one, you're just going to feel better because you're choosing a belief that's just a good feeling belief. Number two, you actually are going to see greater possibilities and opportunities happen in your life. Just like I said, well, most authors don't succeed. Well, why can't I? I'll just be more creative about it and I'll find a way to market my books and be a better writer. And it happened. And the last, guess what? You're going to be so much more relaxed because when you believe that it's going to happen eventually, it puts you in a relaxed, chill state of mind and you're not rushing left and right, up and down. You're not scatterbrained trying to like hold on, white knuckle that goal. It'll happen and you don't know when, you don't know when the timeline is, but you know it's going to happen. So you don't have to be anxious, you don't have to be depressed, you don't have to be stressed. So I want to challenge you, your master of the day, tiny daily habit today, is to actually expand that box, put some cracks in your current box, and basically live like one of the possibilities you want to have happen will happen. And watch what happens over the next year, COVID or not. I hope that helps you guys. Now again, below this video, I've included that free journaling worksheet that'll help you figure out where the box is for you right now in terms of beliefs and how you can 2X, 5X, or 10X it to reach some of your wildest goals. You can check it out. It's the first link in the description. And then before you go, I have two related videos on this topic.